Hello and good evening. Welcome to lesson 9-1. And in this chapter, we're going to look at geometry. And in tonight's lesson, we look at points, lines, and planes. Our objectives for this evening are you're going to be able to name basic geometric figures, and you're also going to be able to recognize intersecting lines, parallel lines, and skew lines. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And first, we have a whole bunch of definitions that I want to go through first, because you need to be able to tell these figures apart. First is a point, and that's just any location in space, and it has no size. So if I go over to this orange box over here, I have to look and decide, well, what one is a point? And that would be down below the bottom one, it looks like that. And a lot of the times I name it point A, B, C, Z, whatever it is. All right, so it's a location in space with no sides. Then comes a line, which is a series of points that extends in opposite directions without end. All right. So, a line is made up of a series of points, and this one right here is actually an example of one. And I'm going to flip it. There we go. And it has no end in sight. So, a lot of the times, too, they might put arrows at the end to make you know that it is a line. Then comes a plane, which is just a flat surface with no thickness. And a lot of the times, a plane is made up of lines. So, for example, this is considered a plane, and as is that because there's their flat surfaces. Then comes a line segment, or just a segment is another word for it. And it's a part of a line that has two endpoints. So looking at my two choices, well, there's only one with two endpoints. And that would be a line segment. And then finally, there is a ray, which has, is a part of a line that has one endpoint. And the way you can tell that it's a ray is that it always has the arrow on the other side. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to identify some with this figure here. And eight says, well, list four points. Well, points again are just those ones that are in red. So for example, there's point K, point H, O, I, and you could even list the fifth one of J. And how you do this is when you list the point, I have it written in blue over here, you label it with a capital letter. And then it says list four different segments. So you name it segment by its endpoints. So we look and find segments. So for example, there's a segment H O. Now, I could say line segment O H, but they want four different lines, and that one would name really the same line. So I'm not going to put O H on there. But let's see. Oh, I could do line segment O I, or again, I O. I could do segment O J. And I could do segment, let's see, if I really wanted to, I could skip over that and say this is segment HJ. So again, there were plenty more than what we needed, but those are four different segments. Now, C says five other names for the line uh, KI. So this is the line we're looking at, and you have to come up with five names for that point, or different names for that line. So one you could do is IK. That one is just listing it backwards. Like in another line, it's just different parts of it. So I could do line KO. All right, let's see. I could do line IO. Um, I could do OI. And let's see, I could do line OK. And again, you could put little arrows at the end. That way we know it is a line instead of a line segment. Because again, line segments, they just look like a line with endpoints. And then finally, D, five different rays. Well, a ray has one endpoint. So I could just start at one here, and I could go segment. And you start with the one you're going at, and then the so O, H. So I go through the point H. Then I could do the line segment, well, if I wanted to, IK. I could also do the line segment KI. You notice how it's the same letters, but on this one, they actually talk about different line segments because the arrow goes in a different direction. I could do O line segment, or er, line segment, the ray, OJ. 
And finally, if I wanted to, I could do the statement. Let's do, do J H. There we go. And again, you list the first letter and the end points for that one. All right, now it's your turn. Name each figure in this diagram. So I'm going to need three points, two segments, and two rings. So go ahead and do that. When you're all done, come back and check your answer. So go ahead and pause me now. All right, let's get started. So three points here. Well, they only give us three. So you have the point C, point N, and point V. All right, two segments. Well, I see segment NC, or again, segment CN, if you make it that way. Um, there's also segment NV, or again, you might have put it VN. Alright, and then finally, two ray. Well, here you have ray NC, and then ray NV. Alright, so this time you couldn't go like this and call it VN, because there's no arrow going on that way. That's actually the end of the statement. So it has to be those two listed. All right, next part of the lesson. We're going to talk about intersecting parallel and skew lines. And I have each definition below. When we talk about intersecting lines, those are two lines that have one point in common, meaning there's a point where these two lines cross over each other. All right? And again, I could look here and I could say, oh, this line EH, well, that shares a line or point with line EC. They intersect at point E. Our parallel lines are two lines that lie in the same plane but don't intersect. So I could start again with EC. Well, the same plane would be in this rectangle, and a parallel line to line EC is line AD. On this top one, we have the point EH. Well, parallel to that is CG. So you can see how that works. Now, something that does trick people sometimes is this idea of skew lines. These are lines that don't lie on the same plane. So, for example, we talked about this red triangle. We could talk, or red triangle, excuse me, rectangle. We have this line EA. Well, I need to find a line that is skewed to it, meaning it's not going to be on the same plane, so it's not in that same rectangle, but it has to be a line that's going opposite direction. So this one is going up and down. Or vertically. So I could go to this rectangle back here, and a line that is skewed to EA would be this line HG, because one is going vertically, one is going horizontally. I can do another one in blue. Let's see. Um, on this front one, I could talk about line AD, and something skewed to that could be, for example, CG. Again, opposite direction, different plane. So we're going to get started. You're looking directly down into a wooden crate. Name each of the following. So A says four segments that intersect my PT. How I always do these is first I find the line you're talking about. So I'm talking about the line PT. I need to now come up with four segments that intersect it or meet this one. So I'm going to start looking. Well, it looks like OP intersects it. Let's see, what's another one? Oh, on this side, I see MP, so segment MP. And then let's see, over here, well, TQ. And I need one more. Well, I'm going to do this one, line segment ST. So all those intersect that red line. They cross that one point. That's A. Now we have B, three segments that are parallel to line PT. So again, we're focusing on this. So I need three segments that are going the same direction, never going to cross it. And these can be on different planes. So here, we could do segment OS. Let's see, segment MQ. And finally, segment, well, if I take a look, NR. There we go. So there's that piece, and finally, they're talking about that skew idea. Four segments skew to PT. So again, it can't lie on the same plane. All right? So I need to find a line segment that skewed to it. So if I'm starting with this rectangle here, all right, I need to find a line that is skewed to that. And one, well, there's that rectangle, M, N. Let's see, what's another one? Well, I suppose we can say QR as well. 
Let's see. Hmm. What else could be considered skew? Oh, I know. This one has nothing to do with it. And it's going in the opposite direction. Rf, and of course we could do line segment On. So again, skew lines, line different planes, going in opposite directions. All right, so now we're going to use that idea of intersecting parallel and skew lines now to actually draw different lines. Now you'll have to excuse me again because I don't have a straight edge. It doesn't work so well putting them on a smart board. So my lines aren't probably going to be the straightest. All right, you can use a straight edge when you do these or a ruler. So draw two intersecting lines. All right, then it says draw a segment that is parallel to one of the intersecting lines. So that's what we have to do. We have to draw what this would look like. I'm going to start at the top. Draw two intersecting lines. Well, intersecting means they meet at a point. So there we go. Those are intersecting lines. Then it says draw a segment that is parallel to one of the segments or intersecting lines. So I could do one down here like this. And that would be it. That's parallel to my red line right here. Or I could also do it again. But then I could put a parallel line down there. So either one of those answers work. All right, you try this one. Draw two parallel lines, then draw a segment that intersects the parallel lines. So go ahead and do this, and when you're all done, check your answer. So pause me now. All right, so when you do this one, you need two parallel lines. And I don't care how you draw your lines. They could be like this, horizontally, or you made them, made them, may have made them vertically. So I'm giving you two different answers for this. Now it says just draw a segment that intersects them. Well, we just need a line that intersects them. So I could go like that. I could go like that. I could even get crazy and do maybe a line like that. All right? So you just needed one line, though, that intersects them. So it should look something similar to one of those. All right, that is your lesson for tonight. We looked at points, lines, and planes, and all the different things that goes along with it. With them, have a good night. See you all tomorrow.